Hi, my name is Mary McCarley. I am the National Content Specialist with Goodhart Wilcox. I was a teacher for 15 years in Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools as a high school health teacher. I now provide professional development and training for our health and CTE titles. So many teachers and district coordinators have reached out to us in need of CTE digital resources, including this title, Teaching. And we've been more than happy to provide these resources at no charge, given the challenges we know you all are facing. I want to create this video on teaching to extend this offer to all teachers in all school districts in need of digital resources for their high school teaching course. In this presentation, I will provide one, an immediate solution. If you're in need of resources right now, I will provide 10 assessments as a PDF that you can begin assigning to your students today. Two, I will provide you a long-term solution for those teachers and school districts who may remain out of school for the remainder of the school year. At no charge, we can set up online access for 90 days to all of our digital resources for students and teachers. Three, I will discuss the steps to access these resources. So first, an immediate solution. We know that many of you are in need of resources right now. We will provide 10 assessments that you can print, email, or post to Google Classroom or your learning management system for students to access. I'll highlight these 10 assessments. First, several of these assessments are embedded within the pages of our 2021 textbook. We have created these as PDFs for you. Here is an example of a case study. And you'll see with all of these features, there is either an assessment, an activity, or critical thinking questions to go along with it. And here is another case study. This is a feature called Professional Tips on Maintaining Confidentiality, asking students to use reliable online resources to further investigate confidentiality in schools. And here's another one of our features on perspectives on teaching. And another. And in addition to those features that were embedded within the pages of the textbook, we also included student workbook pages. And these workbook pages, students would not need uh, our online textbook to complete these workbook pages. And here's another example. And another example, this one's on creating games for instruction. And lastly, one on creating a podcast or video lesson. And so those were our immediate solution. Now, for the long-term solution, we know that many of you may be out of school until the end of the school year. At no charge, we want to provide you 90 days of full access to all of our digital resources for students and teaching. Teaching presents a comprehensive introduction on how to become a teacher in today's society. It includes the responsibilities and rewards of being a classroom teacher. The text is correlated to precision exam career skills certificate in instruction and classroom strategies and the AA SCS Prepack Assessment and Certification Program. And I'll provide you an overview of the resources available with teaching and show you how to navigate the online platform. So first, let's dive into the textbook. And as you can see here, every chapter opens with content terms, also academic terms, learning objectives, there's a journaling activity, and a reading prep activity. And embedded within the pages of the book, there are features to engage students and encourage critical thinking and self-reflection. And here you can see a case study and perspectives on teaching. Also another feature is called professional tips. And at the end of every chapter, there are summary, review and study, vocabulary activity, critical thinking, and core skills. So now let's dive into the textbook. So once you have access and you log in, you're going to click Online Instructor Resource Suite. And from there, you'll see four resources, the student textbook, the companion website, the student workbook, and the online instructor resources. Your students will see the same thing, except they will not see the online instructor resources. So first, let's click on the student textbook. 
I'm going to scroll down and you'll see that there are units and chapters. So let's click on chapter two. On the left hand side, you'll see a navigation bar. This allows you to zoom in, zoom out. The third button down allows you to go to another unit or chapter. Click again to close. The fourth button down allows you to go directly to the companion website, which is the icons embedded within the pages of the book. Click again to close. And the fifth button down allows you to print pages of the text. There's arrows on the left and the right allowing you to go to the next page of the book. You are on page 33. If you want to jump to another page of the book, you can do so by typing in the page number and click. If you want to search the book by a particular key term, you can type it in and click. And it will take you to the pages of the book that includes that key term that you typed in. So I do want to point out this activity icon. And by clicking on this, it would go directly to our companion website. So next, let's discuss the companion website. The companion website really allows students to review, assess, and to extend their knowledge. And there are several activities on our companion website, all focusing on vocabulary. And so first, there's a matching activity. There are e-flashcards, and also a vocabulary game. So now I'm going to show you how to access the companion website. So once again, by hovering over, I could click directly on this, and it would go to that activity. Also, the fourth button down allows me to go directly to the companion website. Lastly, if I click my bookshelf, it takes me back to the main page. I'm going to click. And then from there, I'll see the four tabs. And the second one is the companion website. So now I'm in our companion website. You'll see that it's divided by chapters. There's chapter three. And within each chapter, there are e-flashcards, a matching activity, and a vocabulary game. So let's click on e-flashcards. And by clicking on the card, I can see the definition. I can go to the next card as well. If I want to change it, and rather than seeing the, def the term first, I can change it and see the definition first. And go to the next card. Next, we have the matching activity. So whether I get it right or wrong, it will actually prompt me to keep trying. So this is not really intended to be an assessment for students, but really just for them to practice. If you want to count this as an assessment, all of our assessments can be saved this way, asking students to right click in the space off to the side. From there, they can save it as a PDF or they can click the print option. And they could either print it or they can change the destination away from the printer, and then they'll have the option to save as a PDF. If they're logged into their Google Drive, it will give them the option as well to save to Google Drive. So that was an overview of the resources that were available on the Companion website. So next, let's move on to our student workbook. So your students will have full access to the workbook as well. And the workbook is really intended for students to review, assess, and to extend their knowledge. So let's dive in and look at the workbook pages. So once again, anytime you ever want to go back, just click this My Bookshelf tab. And the third one over, this one, allows me to click on the workbook. And this is the same way your students would be accessing these pages as well. We can click on any chapter of the book. And you'll once again see the familiar navigation bar pop up. I can zoom in, zoom out. I can go to another unit or chapter, click again to close. I do want to point out before I click on this one that you can print pages of the text or the pages of the workbook. But if I click on the fourth button down, it does allow me to see the entire workbook with form fields. So now I can see the entire workbook and all the chapters, and you'll see that the form fields are included. So let's click on one. So 
So now you'll see I can type directly into these form fields. And upon completion, I'm going to right click in the space off to the side. Once again, I can save it as a PDF. However, if I want to, I can click the print option. And then from there, I can either print it or I can change the destination away from the printer and save it as a PDF. Or if you are logged into Google Drive, it should give you the option to save to Google Drive as well. Once in Google Drive, you can submit to Google Classroom. And so that was an overview of our workbook. And lastly, what's available to teachers? So I want to review the resources that you'll have available to you as an instructor to hopefully set, save you time and energy in planning and facilitating your course. So you'll see with every chapter, here's an example, chapter 13, there are textbook answer keys, workbook answer keys, a lesson plan which is in Word format so you can modify it, several different handouts to go along with this chapter, and also presentations. The second one that says for PowerPoint, you can edit it. So you can add slides, delete slides, save it as your own, but the original does not change on the online platform. So next I'm gonna show you where these online resources are. Remember, anytime you click the My Bookshelf, it does take you back. And then from there I'll click. And the fourth option are the online instructor resources. Resource material provides some additional resources for me, including rubrics and pacing charts. I'm gonna click this minus to minimize it. Chapter resources, let's click on chapter seven. And so you'll see all that's available for chapter seven, including textbook answer keys, workbook answer keys, lesson plan, additional handouts, and the PowerPoint presentation. And if I click on another chapter, you'll see that the format is the same. So let's minimize that. And lastly, I'm gonna click on the assessment software in question pool. So teachers, you will have access to our assessment software in question pool. And this is gonna allow you to create customized exams for students. And these will include true, false, multiple choice, completion, short, short response, and essay questions. And it does generate an answer key as well. So if you have a Windows, computer, you'll need this file. On Macintosh, you'll need this file. And if you're using learning management system, you would need these files. So I hope that I've provided you an overview of what's available with our teaching curriculum. To get access to these resources, email me at mmccarley at g-w.com. Let me know if you want the immediate resources and or the 90-day pilot. And if you are considering the 90-day pilot, consider reaching out to your district coordinator first. We are more than happy to provide access to the entire district. And to learn more about teaching, visit our website. I truly appreciate your time. We are here to support you during these challenging times. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy.